All right, so in this video, I want to take a look at uh, Yamaha network receivers and the MusicCast, which you'll see on here, MusicCast uh, app that's available on uh, Android device. So uh, MusicCast has a couple different uh, standards, I suppose. So the RN602 made the current cut in 2019. I think they uh, killed off a bunch of older network receivers, but uh, luckily for me, this one is still good to go but you have to upgrade the firmware in the uh, device in order to uh, make network radio work if it stopped working for you for some reason. So uh, to, up, to do that, it's not too hard. You just go into uh, setup with the remote. If you don't have a remote, this is gonna be more trouble. You can do it with the app, but we'll uh, pretend that we don't uh, have the app set up yet. So you can see that I went down and I'm going to do an update, perform an update. So it's going to restart and uh, see if it can find anything or not. It's going to take a minute to uh, initialize on the network. Update success. So it didn't have to anything to update, so that's just all I was telling you. If you look at one of my earlier videos, you'll see that a bunch of nonsense goes by the screen that, I don't know, who could make any sense of it. And uh, anyway, that's uh, what the update kind of looks like. It's going to put this on mute. So like I said, you need to have this on the network. I have it on the wired network that's plugged into a device behind the TV here. And then I've got this uh, tablet on repeat 2.4, which is on the same network switch. So we're good to go there. You would have wanted to go into the uh, Play Store and download uh, Yam Yamaha Music Cast. I think it's called Music Cast Connect when you're in the uh, store. It's free. We're going to need to add the device. I have an error here because I've had to added this previously and deleted it. You're going to go to setup and uh, basically you turn the audio device on, press next, and you're going to go over here and hold connect. It's going to say connect on the screen here in a minute. Connect. So now it's going to start communicating. So you're putting in a location which would be like a building if you were in a large facility or what have you, or you could say upstairs and then if you had multiple of these then you'd say whatever room it's in. You can put in a device uh, image if you want for whatever reason. And then you can add a whole bunch of these things in here. So I'm just going to put this on mute again. So when you get in here you're going to have uh, options to check all of your inputs. So rather than scrolling through here or scrolling through there, you got full control over these things without using some crazy programmed universal remote. They're all good to go. If you wanted to use any of these subscriptions, like Deezer, you would have to put in that information now. Or you can go back to rooms. I'm just going to go over the setup quickly. So you would have a bunch of these on here if you had a bunch of them in your house, should you be that wealthy. I'm missing something here. Right, so when you're on this page here, you can go to setup. And then you would click on over here. You can change your photo, your name. You can do the firmware update here account settings. So the account settings would be you could punch them in for all of them right here. So again way easier than using that remote. And you can turn the streaming on or off. I don't know the reasoning for that. I've never used it so I wouldn't know. You can edit your sources. Okay so you can 
get rid of the uh, tiles if you don't use them. You can reboot your machine if it's acting up for some reason. You can delete the machine, which is what I've done in the past. You can parallel a bunch of machines together so that you can get uh, the same music everywhere in the house, or you can even use it to create sound, sound, surround sound. Although I intentionally bought a stereo device so that it wouldn't do surround sound, so that's not really what I'm into. You can hook it up to Amazon or Google. I'm not even gonna touch that, I don't know. No interest in that. You can uh, change some of the things that are available. You can turn the screen on and off. Nothing happened. Demo mode, whatever that is. Sorry, it's gone out of focus. Hopefully it wasn't out of focus very long. But all right, we're gonna go back to the device. So what caused me to do this was initially somebody had asked me, how do you save presets on here? So it turns out it's actually really easy to save net radio presets. All you do is hit memory, you hold it for a while, and you can pick your presets. There's uh, surprisingly more than I thought. So you can save it there, it's memorized. So now you can go through your presets. The naming doesn't make any sense, it just says net radio. How you would change the heading for that. But anyway, that's what you get. You don't need this app to do that per se. But you can go into net radio here. And uh, what I'm hoping to show you is under radio and favorites, still nothing. All right, that's kind of funny. That's right, there, there's a bit of a glitch with the favorites thing, so let's just hop over that. But say you can't find the radio station you want, you can just type in anyone you want. And so I put in Chicago and you go to search. And I was quite surprised that there is a lot available. Like in that you got the police scanner, fire scanner, you got some other stations, like this goes on like forever. There's a, Chicago is obviously a big city and it appears that uh, radio is doing well in Chicago. So they got AM and FM, you've got like uh, repeats of uh, amateur radio, all kinds of things, it just goes on and on and on. So we'll pick one. Moody Radio Chicago. There we are. It's on. Got her little emoji thing there, whatever you want to call it. Avatar. When you turn up the volume, you can't like jump it far to blow up your speakers. You can turn uh, mute on and off. You can control what is being displayed. You can send this to your Bluetooth uh, speaker somehow, I guess using this uh, with Bluetooth because that thing does it? I don't remember whether it has Bluetooth or not. I guess it does. Not something I play around with. You can add it to favorites if you wanted. But that's where it gets confusing. Like where where did that go? So it's on the favorites in the app, but when you go to memory, it's not that. But 
But when you go to um, a tuner, you can access the favorites on here. It's going to show it. So those are the actual favorites that are on the radio. But I've not figured out how to get net radio favorites onto here on the same list. It seems like they're a different list for whatever reason. But carry on playing around here. Go back to net radio. You can go through here and find like everything around the whole world, right? Like it's popular stations. It's entirely global. And then with the app, you can easily search for what you might be aware of locally. So that's Germany there. What else? This tablet. All right, so you can play music off of your tablet onto here. People have been asking me if you can use do USB audio onto here, and you can't. Like you can use a USB stick with files on it, but you would more normally with the USB audio it would be like a larger square type connector. They make a USB two and three. This the three square is blue and it's a little bit bigger. They're not completely compatible. But anyway, this one doesn't do that. But you can use a DAC or different things to make audio inputs or you can use Bluetooth or play over the network. There's so many ways to get audio on here that I don't have a need for doing it that way. AirPlay, I think it's a Mac thing. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Excuse my ignorance. The server's not on right now, so I can't go into it. You can change all these inputs, like go to it. It goes to it instantly. You can uh, adjust your level. You can mute it. Change these things here. I only have one pair of speakers and a, a little Yamaha sub hooked up to it right now. I keep going back to that screen there. I don't know if that's necessary or not. You can make music cast playlists. I have no idea what that is. Might be interesting to you to investigate. So I think I'm kind of exhausted what we can look at right now. You can turn the device off and on. So that's neat. Oh, one person had asked me if you can see these red lines in here in the dark. When you turn the dimmer off, I'm trying to think. I thought there was a nighttime version where you could just black that out, but uh, it's not jumping out at me right now. But I would say no, you can't see anything at night. It's not a, a nuisance, in my opinion. So I think that's uh, all we're going to look at right now. Hopefully, you found this interesting. Thank you for watching. All right, we're back for an encore. I figured out how to add the favorites. So when you click, you got the channel open that you want to listen to on that radio. You can go to the second add to favorites. And that is the favorites list on this device. So let's go, I'll put this on channel four. Memorized channel four. Now I'm going to scroll through. So you can see channel three doesn't exist. Perfect. It's possible that we're limited to how many favorites there are. I'm not exactly sure. But I just wanted to add that. So again, thank you for watching.